What's up everybody, Ninth Jim here, back with another VGC 2020 Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive video. Today, we're talking about the results of the 2020 Malmo Regional Championships. This has just ended and it's the first big tournament of VGC 2020 Season 3 with the addition of things like G-Max Pokemon, certain G-Max Pokemon, things like Hatterene, you know, Grimmsnarl, Lapras. We have Incineroar now. We have the Kanto starters, all the Alola starters, all of them. A uh, bunch of Alolan Pokemon, a whole bunch of different forms of Pokemon. It's awesome. And I'm very excited to announce that we have Season 3 first big event, Regional Malmo Regional, just concluded. So, without further ado, let's get into it. With a little bit more further ado, actually, because uh, shoutouts to Victory Road, an amazing, amazing website. I'm going to uh, link them down below as well. They are where we get this uh, our results here, top 32. I'll link them down below so that you can go check them out. You know, like, uh, go on Twitter, go to their Twitter and like it up. You know, I saw this originally on Twitter, so yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's good stuff. Anyway, without further ado, let's talk about it. So, in first place, we have Tobias. Kojiziki, Koshiki, I suck at pronouncing names, uh, but Tobias, we got that name, we got Tob Tobias down, anyway, Tobias getting first, awesome stuff, went a Edo and Swiss, day one, um, very, very good stuff here, you can also watch the, uh, the finals match here on this website, right here, so definitely check them out, definitely check out Victory Road, but anyway, so Tobias, played Hard Trick Room, very interesting stuff. Played the presumably G Max Hatterene. It's very, very strong. Having that confusion, guaranteed confusion, is very, very strong. Uh, and DD Hatterene, something we saw a lot at the very beginning of the format, now seeing a little bit less. But maybe now we'll see a little bit more play because of our G Max form, which is very, very strong. We also have Rhyperior and Torkoal, really, really strong uh, trick, round, trick Room. Sweepers, really interesting stuff. We also have Dusclops and Butterfree as backup Trick Room setting lead. Very, very good. Butterfree is an amazing Pokemon for support with either Dusclops or Bronzong or really any kind of self sufficient Trick Room setter. Bronzong makes very, very good, or Butterfree makes for a very good partner with that. Being able to sleep things, you know, being able to heal Pokemon, very, very good uh, tool. Uh, of a Pokemon, especially on such a hard Trick Room team. It's awesome stuff. And Didi Hatterene is very interesting to see. So very, very, very powerful getting first place at a big event. is really awesome. In second place, we have Tyranitar Excadrill team. I was thinking this would start to trend down, and it definitely has. You know, it's the only Tyranitar um, Excadrill in top eight, which is very, very interesting. You know, going from like the last event that we had, it was everywhere. It was actually just everywhere. And now it's trending down, which is really cool. Um, things like, you know, Incineroar coming in to the meta. You know, another good Intimidate user with potentially Parting Shot and Will-O-Wisp is really, really good against the, that team. That team comp also being able to really deal damage against Excadrill is very good. Um, Pokemon like Milotic tr trending up in uh, play, you know, walls out that really well. Um, Rotom, trend, Rotom Cut. Mo trending up because of my low tick trending up and uh, yeah so that's uh, all factors of why I think Tyranitar Excadrill was going to trend down is still seeing a lot of play it's still very good still making second place on Alexandra's team Alexandre Alexandra I'm not sure one of those probably Alexander I don't know that's just a guess hopefully it's not any hopefully it's not wrong but yeah awesome team looking very standard to how it was last format except with the Serena edition so that's probably to combat that my low tick a little bit better which is pretty cool we also have Rotom Wash, Togekiss, Arcanine and the Serena as well as the Tyranitar Excadrill pretty good stuff there Arcanine still seeing play instead of the uh, Incineroar, which is very interesting. I still think it's really, really good. It's bulkier uh, sometimes, you know, in, as far as, like, special defense, I think. It's pretty bulky. It's very good with Snarl, though. Incineroar also gets Snarl, and I've been messing around with Snarl. Incineroar, very, very good stuff. Cool stuff seeing uh, Arcanine still up here in second place. Really good stuff. Um, and Was I wrong? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, anyway, third place, we have Alex uh, Gomez, which is pretty awesome. I don't know why that's awesome. Why did I say that's pretty awesome? Anyway, doing getting third seven seven one is really awesome. Uh, getting five hundred dollars, that one thirty CP, awesome stuff. It's no small feat getting third. It's a big feat. It's good stuff. 
Um, anyway, playing a pretty interesting team here with a lot of ghosts on, on their team. Mimikyu, Dragapult, and Aegislash. Very interesting stuff, along with our Snorlax, Rotom Wash, and Togekiss. Awesome stuff. I love uh, Togekiss Rotom with uh, Redirection Nasty Plot. Very, very strong, becoming a really, really good um, attacker. Dynamax, use, uh, Dynamax target. Really, really good stuff. Um, so yeah, awesome stuff, Alex. In fourth place, we have the Durant team with Tora Cat. Not even the Incineroar. We have Tora Cat on this one. So Eviolite Tora Cat has access to just about the, probably about the same amount of moves, and very very cool seeing it. You know what I mean? It's really awesome. Uh, other than that, very similar to what uh, took the last event we had. What was that event? Collinsville with uh, Durant, Tyranitar, Milotic. Gothitelle, Sylveon, a lot of uh, similar Pokemon, but also Toracat. What is this? Why are you using to Toracat? Awesome stuff. Matty uh, getting fourth place with Toracat. Toracat's awesome. That's just really cool to see that. Um, so, yeah. On to fifth place, we have Fevzi. That's a cool name. I like that name a lot. Fevzi. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but it's cool. I like it. Um, anyway, we have Lapras. Awesome stuff. We have Alcremi. Multiple Pokemon that could be G-Max. New introduced G-Max is really awesome stuff. We also have Dusclops, uh, Conkledor, Incineroar, and Togekiss. A very mid-speed team. Setting up Trick Room is really, really good. And then having multiple really good G-Max targets. Really, really interesting stuff. Love to see it. First Incineroar in our placement um, that we've seen going down. So, you know, maybe not as bad as everybody was thinking. Everybody freaked out about Incineroar. You know it's best placement was fifth place and Tori Cat in fourth. Hey, <laughs> uh, but yeah, awesome stuff. Fevzi, really cool team. I love the uh, the Lapras. Uh, G Max Lapras is something I've been messing around with a lot in season three. I think it's really really good and very very promising. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into sixth place. Five one. Uh, Eric Rios getting sixth place, going seven one. Awesome stuff with a lot of. I just covered that. Is that, wait, 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 wait. Bad. Okay, so we got same team, we got same team. Sixth place, they're probably buddies, I would imagine. Um, very similar team, probably the same, potentially different spreads, but that Snorlax, Mimikyu, Dragapult, Aegislash, Rotom Wash, and Togekiss, it's really cool stuff. Um, I was having deja vu, I was like, wait, did I do these out of order? No, just multiple people playing the same team. This is not, not something we don't see, this is something we see all the time. Very good players, having a posse, a crew of really good teams, so that's awesome. Um, awesome stuff, 6th place, Eric Rios, good stuff. 7th place, we have Leonardo Bonanime, Bonanomi, 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 I don't know. I, I, I suck at pronouncing, anyway. Thing, uh, good stuff, Leonardo. Hopefully, I didn't butcher your name, but uh, awesome stuff, with Lapras. I love seeing Lapras. I think G Max Lapras is very, very good, very promising. We have Incineroar, Conkledor, uh, very similar team. We got four Conkledor, um, Dusclops, Dusclops, Incineroar, and Lapras in the same as fifth place guy, Fevzi. Um, and then we have Togekiss, actually, five. So, five of the same Pokemon, just switching out that Roserade for the Alcremi. Good stuff. I like it. I, we've seen a lot of interesting Pokemon in this top, and that's awesome. Like, look at this top eight team. This is very interesting as well. So we have uh, Solar Power. One's to assume Solar Power Charizard. It could be G Max now. We have G Max Solar Power Charizard. That's a thing again, which is pretty cool. Or not a th again. This is a, that's a thing now, which is very very strong. We also have things like Gengar, Grimmsnarl, and Teleon. Rotom Cut, Rotom Mo, whichever one you want to call it, and Conkledor, awesome team. I like seeing the Gengar, it's really cool. And uh, Inteleon, not accompanied with that, uh, oh yeah it is, <laughs> I was going to say not with fake tears. It is with fake tears, Grimmsnarl most likely has fake tears. 9 out of 10 times you'll see it having fake tears on this kind of team composition. Um, so yeah, awesome stuff, Jamie. Into ninth place we have Alessio. With uh, Durant, again, Durant, Milotic is a very, very promising lead, very strong. Then we also have Raichu Gyarados, which is another very strong lead. And then we also have Togekiss and Hydreigon there tailing behind, just chilling, probably leading, uh, having Togekiss as that leading lady a lot of the time. Very good stuff. I love alliteration. 
awesome stuff really cool team and 10th place we have the Corviknight really really promising really strong against that Excadrill Tyranitar team or the lead or just those two Pokemon in general Corviknight deals with them very very well as they can't deal with the Corviknight Corviknight is also really interesting because it mirror armors back that full that uh that in Incineroar Intimidate which is very very good um, awesome stuff. Keeping that Flare Blitz down, potentially being able to survive an Oko from Incineroar. I think uh, Corviknight being a sleeper pick for this for this uh, season, very good Pokemon. I like to see it a lot. Tyranitar, Gastron, Sylveon, Dragapult, and Incineroar. Awesome team. Max getting 10th place. Awesome stuff. In 11th, we have Andre. Uh, Andre, Andres. Andre, it's gotta be Andre. Um, but with the Gorgeist again, which is very interesting, Durant um, as well, P being a lot like Edward. Actually, is that Eduardo Kuna's team from uh, getting second at the international? Some. Why can't I think? Melbourne. It was Melbourne. But uh, yeah, awesome stuff. This is a great team. Um, it may not be the exact same, and it's probably different spreads, but. You never know. Uh, 12th place, we have Marco with that Lapras, potentially Lapras and Raichu lead. Very, very interesting. We have Excadrill and Arcanine, Corviknight, and uh, Togekiss. Awesome stuff. Love to see it. I'm going through these other uh, past top eight a little bit faster. Just a little bit. Um, and, and then once we get to top 16 for the rest of top 32, we're just going to go through them pretty fast. Um, 12th place, awesome stuff. 13th, we have David. David. I'm not sure, um, but Incineroar and more Incineroar um, over and over. Now, now we're seeing a lot more Incineroar. We have Dusclops, which is very, very powerful. Lapras, we're seeing a good bit of Lapras as well. 14th, we have Lapras, Incineroar, Ferrothorn, Dusclops. Very hard Trick Room, except with uh, Incineroar and Lapras being, you know, pretty solid mid speed, which is very interesting. Uh, 15th, we have Inc our first Venusaur, which is awesome, but no like guy that's screaming hey i'm setting sun so maybe it's not even chlorophyll we have no idea um so yeah that's very interesting as well and then we have another very hard trick room team with one fast boy being that venusaur chlorophyll venusaur with torco setting it up awesome stuff i really really like that team um that's something that i was messing around with a lot at the beginning of uh season three now it's fallen off a little bit anyway for the rest of this we're gonna go through and kind of just you know some cool stuff 17th we have hitmon top which is very interesting uh 18th some pretty generic stuff here 19 we got dracozolt togenomaru and eldegoss what a wild team that's really cool i love dracozolt i think dracozolt is actually very promising in this uh in season three 20th place we have some gudra action which is pretty cool more g max lapras potentially more incineroar more conkledor a lot of really good pokemon um, more cl potentially chlorophyll. No, definitely chlorophyll. Hard Trick Room with Torkoal, Rhyperior, and Venusaur to uh, be fast with the chlorophyll. I really like that setup. I think it's really, really promising. That's very good. 23, we've got more Incineroar, more Venusaur, more Lapras. A lot of Pokemon that we were kind of expecting to see a lot in this gen. We have Colossal as our first Colossal. That's really interesting. Uh, some more Roserade, Meowstic. I love to see that. And uh, Mudsdale, potentially fast, or potentially uh, a lot of slow Pokemon on that team. And then Durant, of course, as well, which is very, very good. 30th place, we got more Tyranitar Excadrill. Uh, the first Alolan Persian, which is very interesting. And same with the Burmy. Interesting stuff. Really cool way to uh, end that off. And then we have some usage stats here. Uh, a couple of no-brainers. Um, being that Togekiss and Incineroar and then we have Lapras trending up very very uh, Very high on the usage stats, which is very cool Venusaur all of these the second third and fourth most used Pokemon We were expecting those to be very very high up on this list um, Which is very cool all very new very good Pokemon we have a lot of Dusclops a lot of Excadrill Tyranitar um, a lot of water good Pokemon Milotic Redom Wash uh, fire good Pokemon, you know a lot of really good Pokemon if you want to explore this whole usage stats more in depth uh, Definitely check out this website. We have I'll have it linked down below victory road one more time victory road is awesome um, a great place to see a lot of tournament results so i'll definitely have them linked down below but as for now that's going to be it for this video thank you so much for watching if you like this kind of content leave a like and subscribe i hope you can see my big thumbs uh, big thumbs up oh like and subscribe it means so much to me thank you so much for watching and have a good evening or 
whatever time frame it is currently for you. But thank you so much for watching and have a good one. Goodbye.